All right, all you big guy fans, this recipe is for you. I know there's a lot of really busy moms and dads out there, and that's why I'm doing this podcast. It's for you. I want to try to show you that you can stay away from those restaurants. You can cook things ahead of time. You can even prepare and prep first thing in the morning before you leave for work and have dinner when you come home. And this is one of those recipes. It's a it's a crock pot beef stew that I come up with that's really quick and easy to put together. You come home, have rice. How quick is it to make a, a bag of rice? You know, those minute rices that you can get. And this serves very nicely with that. All you have to do, now if you're very busy, I'm going to allow you to open up a can of cream of mushroom soup and add to this. It's two cans. And all you do is add some of this meat. And I've probably got about three pounds or so of this beef stew. And I like the beef stew that is cut pretty big. I like those big chunks. Instead of those really small pieces, this will cook up and you'll have sustenance in your pot when you come home. Now, if you don't want to open up a can of cream of mushroom soup, and I hope you don't, I hope you want to try to control the sodium in your dish for your family. I also know you're busy and if you have to, do that. But I'm going to show you just how quick it is to make a bit of a bechamel sauce. I've showed you this before. Uh, this dish we're going to add a little bit of onion and some mushrooms. So you just want to dice an onion, half of an onion. Just get the paper off of it. And you can do a pretty good dice. You don't have to worry about it being very uniform. It's all going to cook down. Keep your fingers tucked and out of the way. And we're going to add this to our pan. We're going to add about two tablespoons of butter and about three tablespoons of olive oil. And I know you think this is a lot, but really this is going to make quite a bit of bechamel sauce. You've got to have a lot for this meat. And we're going to go ahead and add our onion. And just move this around in the pan. Now you want to prevent from adding any salt and pepper at this point. The salt will draw the moisture out. And we need this moisture for the flour to soak in. All right, I had a very hot pan. You just want to caramelize this just a little bit, just kind of break the onions down. You want to add about a cup of flour. Now this is a typical recipe for a bechamel sauce. You don't want your flour to get too thin. I need to add just a little bit more olive oil. And you want to cook that flour off just a little bit. You don't want that flour taste in there. I need some more oil. There we go. Somebody must be coming. I hear Benny barking. So there we go. You want to cook this off a little bit, add a little bit of salt and pepper. About a teaspoon and then we're going to add some fresh cracked pepper at this point. And we want to add a couple of garlic cloves, but first I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken stock. You want to add it slowly. It's about three cups. And then we're going to add a cup of cream. If you add it slowly, like I'm doing here, and allow the temperature to continue to come up, it will not lump on you. And that's what you want to prevent from happening. It's not that difficult to make a bechamel sauce. Actually, us southern folks know how to do it because we make a cream gravy. So most southern folks know how to make it. And a lot of Italians too. Every, you know, it's really one of those easy 
sauces to, to do. All right, so we're gonna add the rest of this chicken stock in. Just takes it a minute to come back up to temperature. And you want it to be a bit thick, but not so thick. Now, really, let me tell you how quick and easy this recipe is for the crock pot. If you add the two cans of cream of mushroom soup to your beef, that's all you add. You don't have to worry about adding any extra liquid to it because the liquid will come out of the meat and you'll have a, a pan sauce or a gravy when you get home. I'm going to go ahead and add our cream. Cut our temperature back just a little bit. We'll go ahead and add our mushrooms. And I'm going to wear a little bit of it. <laughs> now you can saute these into the onions if you want to with the onions. But again, refrain from adding any salt. We want to add a couple of cloves of garlic and I like to just at this point shave it in. go. Now you can adjust the salt and pepper later when you get home. And there you have it. And this will all come together in the pot. We're going to add this to our meat. And then just move this around in our crock pot. We want to put the lid on, plug it in, and set it to, now you want to set it on high if you are going to leave it for only a couple of hours. If you're going to leave it for about four hours, four or five hours, put it on low. And when you come home, make some rice and you're ready to go. It's beef stew in a crock pot.